The annual Bell Zede Memorial Football Festival returns with its 38th staging on Monday, the 16th of October, at the St. George's College Playing Field in Kingston, Jamaica. The football festival, which is staged in honor of two of Jamaica's most influential football figures, Winthrop, Jackie Bell and Dennis Zede, both of whom died in a bus crash while attending the 1986 World Cup Finals in Mexico. Well, we'll see four teams, Christian Ambassadors, St. George's Old Boys, a referees team and an all-star team participating. And joining us in the studio to tell us more about it, organizer Clive Busy Campbell and uh, Mariah will be talking with one of the players and uh, organizers in a short while as well. Busy, welcome to the new studios here of Sportsmax. Um, great that you have been able to keep this going for so long. I know that on every public holiday, you, make, you, you make a festival out of out of um, the, the the occasion, and uh, this is the well. You you have a one love on Ash Wednesday on Ash Wednesday and different different you know events for your public holidays. But the Bell Zadie is very special to football fans in Jamaica, and it's good that you've been able to keep this going for so long. Well, I ask the creator to give me the strength to go on, and good day to your viewers in here. Mm. And this being the 38th annual fun day, yes. we, we decided because we always have to honor people on the day. Like Mr. Lon Donaldson, former rugby girls coach, he'll be one of the honorees. Well, a month ago, you wouldn't have said former, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had put him down from, you know, yeah. months before that he would be one. Yeah. And then you have Calvin Stewart, a former Jamaica footballer, Cavalier player. Calvin I Stewart, one of the best center half I've seen yeah. and play with. That's not Eitel. No. Eitel is Weber a different Stewart. person. He yes. went to KC, yes. then played Cavaliers in Jamaica. Yes. 1970, both. Myself and him was invited by George Thompson in the Jamaica squad. Yeah. Then you have Granny Marshall, Colonel Marshall. Yeah. His son is Tyrone Marshall. Yes. He'll be honored also. Yeah. And there's a gentleman by, by JC. They call him Dolphy Utdale Garden, the curator. Mm -hmm. He will be honored on the same day. Mm -hmm. But as I said, you know, having four teams, it will be just fun. Ron Marp, you play 30 minutes, you play against each other. Mm -hmm. And it's just to keep mm -hmm. Bill's area alive. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't know what it meant to me. Reaching as far as Miami, and someone said, the football is on TV, and I turned back. Mm. You know, so I said, the only thing I could do, and I said, Vivrich was the first person I called, 86. Yes. Because Jackie had met him early, when I mean, he was a captain, West Indies. And he's after, when I called, Viv Viv said, we have to do something. Yeah. And that's how. You know, I said yes. And I remember Viv Richards came the very next year, mm -hmm. he and his brother, over by Winchester Park there. Yes. And, you know, I'll never forget, because Bonnie Goodison was there, and Digalagi, former Jamaican George's old boy, he was one of the first honorees. Mm -hmm. And there were so many people I can remember, just off the cup, mm -hmm. that have been honored on the Heroes Day. Because yeah. I said, Bell, Zaidi, both of them, they were my heroes, my friends. And I know what they meant to Jamaica football. A lot of people don't know. They were former senior coach and under 20 coach also, both of them. And when I think of it, as I said. You know, Jackie, Jackie cared a lot about football. I remember as a teenager playing football on the street near Barbican Square while, where the supermarket was. At that time, it was Master's Supermarket. supermarket. It's now Hilo. Right. And we were there playing, I was probably 15 or 16, no, I was a little older, maybe 18 or so. And Jackie Bell was driving past and he just saw Stop. the football being played. Stop. And he stopped. That's he, he stopped and just wanted to talk to the youngsters to inspire them and give them, you know, some, some words of wisdom. So, so he was that kind of person where he cared about young people and cared about the football. And I remember very, very vividly, like yesterday, the Sunday morning when we got the news that there was this bus crash in Mexico and both Jackie Bell and Dennis Sadie had died, died in the crash. Ed Barnes was on radio. Um, he went in to do updates live on RJR because it was sudden breaking news. And I was at home at the time hearing. I'd, I was working at RJR, but Ed was the boss. So Ed, yes, Ed took on the job of, of reporting the news of Zadie and, and Bell's tragic passing. They were, I think, traveling from one venue to the, the next, next to go to see a Brazil, Brazil game. game. 
because they were huge Brazilian fans, weren't they? Right. Like you are. <laughs> I was born there. <laughs> I don't, where I don't football think so. is concerned. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when I think of it, Lance, I remember a girl coming from Trinidad and said to Joseph, two former captain and players, they came. And you interviewed Gally yes. of Tarja. Of that right. tape, I always remember it. Yes. Because Gally's team didn't make it to the World Cup yes. 1990. Mm -hmm. And it was so sad yeah, for him. just missed out. I yeah. remember. The Gally is a good man. R very, very good man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a friend of mine. I keep, we keep in touch with him every day. Yes. You know, I can hear from him. But as I said, this game, when we play the game and we ask for a donation, it's just to help the kids, the basic schools. Because I try to get as much computers and printers into the basic school. And last year, you played in the El Clasico. We yes. had combined it with the yes. people. And I'll never forget when I got a call that they break into the Marna to basic in Waterhouse mm -hmm. and took away the TV and everything. Yes, computers and everything. so on. Everything. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm going to make sure mm -hmm. they got it back. Yeah. Well, a good thing we got back some funds from the yeah. game, and yeah. it was provided. Yeah. All right, that's uh, Clive Busy Campbell organizer of uh, the Bel Zaidi Festival, the 38th staging coming up on Monday. And uh, Mara is now sticking with uh, Everaldo Creary, who will be a part of the action as well. Yeah, I'm happy to be sitting on this side of the table. Are you excited for this competition? Yeah, man, always, because I only put pile and salad them all get you see, eh? <laughs> uh, what, what makes you want to be associated with this Bel Zaidi Memorial? Well, I mean, I know busy over the years. I don't know if you know me, but you know, as a youth growing up in Franklin Town, you know, yeah. see the icon going to school and thing, you know. And then um, at KC, I was a cricketer, you know, and uh, by the time I leave KC, you know, cricket not so, you know, friendly anymore with the system. <laughs> but um, I wanted to find a routine, so I taught myself how to play football and thing. But when I, I saw that Busy was doing this thing, I was like, what do you mean, Busy? Yo, get me on Sheppy. You know, Sheppy is a member of the Nomads. Yes. So yeah. I could play some game and thing. And, but it was used to test my, um, how good I am in football. And it was very impressive. So I keep going every year because, you know, I love when the crowd sing Puka Poo and the score, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and of course, they love you and they love your music. So tell me a bit about the band. What's been happening? Any new music coming soon? Yeah, you know, we, we released some music, um, an album with Walter Fire from Major Lazer yes. just before the COVID. So we were on our way back from South, South Africa. You know, we were invited by Nelson Mandela's grandson and thing. And I think the last trip we had was we played for a team. I think Busy took us to Miami, Miami Miramar. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. How was that? That was awesome. You know, it's another old set of icons. You know, vintage icons over there, artists, everybody. But um, with Nomads, you now we have been busy since the pandemic with like movies and so forth. You know, uh, me and Sheldon is also in the Bob Marley movie that's coming out soon. You know, so. You know, we're not, we're not stop work. It's, it's a multifaceted group, you know. Yeah. It's just music, drama. I'm in theatre. I'm doing a play with um, Dela Harris right now. It closed, but we're bringing it back on the 22nd for one night only. So we keep bubbling, you know. It's, it's many disciplines, so it's not like, you know, if you don't hear no music, we're busy in the movie or you no know, movies, it's theatre. Or like, for instance, just giving back to schools. I was at Mona the, uh, yesterday morning talking with the students about, you know, just taking the craft serious and yeah. how it requires a level of intelligence. So it's not like you can just, you know, think about you're just going to be a chopper or something. <laughs> you know, you just said that, right? Taking the craft serious and mm -hmm. instant, and then you went on to say about being a chopper, mm -hmm. all that, right? <laughs> Are you pleased with the direction Jamaican music is heading? Well, that's a good question. It's a heavy question. Yeah, it's a very good question. It's deep. I, well, I can say, I, I, sometimes I fall into the trap of like being very judgmental about how the youths express themselves. But if you know the history of music, something like maybe mentor was slack when mentor was heavy in the 50s. When Skia came about, it was like, a, you know, inner city downtown word to it was even a curse word yeah. in that time. And then Skia become an iconic part of our musical journey. So my thing is, maybe you have, 
you know, some ill-flavored kind of music, you know, fast food type of music there. But I don't think it's the majority. It might yeah. be so popular here, but if you kind of step outside of Jamaica, where most of Nomad's shows are, which is ironical. Yeah. So when you check the Europe place and all the reggae circles and just deep across the world, you see more quality being perpetuated, you know? Yeah, anything you want to say to our viewers who are tuned in about the Bell Zadie Memorial Football Festival and why they should support because they'll be missing out. You're going to be playing. Yeah, what do you mean? I mean, <laughs> you know, besides that reason, that's the greatest reason. But, um, <laughs> Let's come out and support the thing, you know. I mean, I like how Lance referred to it as a festival. Yes. Yeah, it, it is, is a festival. It just come out. I mean, George is a very good feel. I was going to say good school, but you don't know. Casey's on the other side, so. Mm. <laughs> I don't, I will not tell you what I think about Casey now, but we'll talk offset. All We're right. going to throw back to Lance. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but come out, man. It's a fun time, you know. The grass green. <laughs> it's going to be very entertaining, you know what I mean? Artists. What if artists you can get to meet them personally, yes. you know what I mean? And kids would like that to run up and down, support the thing really, because it's a good cause, a great cause. Yeah, yeah. football for a great cause. Yeah, Lance, man. it's back to you. Yeah, I can give you a sneak preview. Um, Mariah is not a huge fan of Kingston College, but I'd, 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 I'd leave it there. And we'll be back with more on The Zone after this. <laughs>